Hi, welcome to SEO Hangouts with Josh Bashinsky. That would be me. Uh, today I've got a really awesome video for you on how to edit your title tags. Title tags are very important for SEO in 2016, in case you didn't know, uh, in terms both of ranking and in also in terms of improving your click-through rate. And so I'm going to get to how to edit your title tags in a second, and I've got a number of uh, tools you can use to edit your title tags, and a number of methods you can use to do research to find the keywords you want to put in your title tags. Uh, really awesome stuff. Uh, I'll get to that in a second. But before I do, uh, for my longtime viewers, I just want to let you know that my TED Talk is out. Uh, my TED Talk is called The Future of Google Search and Ethics, and you can watch it at j.mp slash joshtedx. That's j.mp slash j-o-s-h-t-e-d-x. So without further ado, I'd like to get to the video on how to edit your title tags, and I hope you enjoy it. Here we have Google Search Console. So I'm going to show you how to write some proper titles. And as you can see here, I've already been doing some titles for this site called soccerbox.com. It's a great site uh, from the UK where you can buy uh, football kits, uh, shirts, jerseys, shorts, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and as you can see, I've been already writing some titles for them. Uh, and it's really important to do this, you know, for a number of reasons. I mean, look how many impressions are getting here. 641,000 impressions for this month, but only 7,600 clicks, so that's only 1.2% click through, really. And the average position is pretty good. They're just, they, you know, there's a lot of queries that they have on page one. Um, but they're just not getting the click through rate that they should. And of course, increasing their click through rate will get them more traffic now. I believe it's a ranking factor. The more people who click on your site, tell Google that, hey, this is a hot site. They should rank it a little higher, maybe. Uh, and uh, as I said, most importantly, it gets you more traffic now. If you have better sounding, uh, titles and better descriptions, that's going to qualify your buyers and make them more interested in the uh, how much promise there is on this site. They can go to and get what they want. So it's going to move them lower in the sales funnel. They're going to be more interested. They're going to be more hungry for the sale, if you will, if you write a better title for it. Or more hungry to get the information if you have a better title for it. So uh, it doesn't just have to be a sales site. It could be a blog and an information site too. So. So here's how we write some titles. So let me show you. I'm going to go through step by step. I'm going to show you exactly what I would do to write titles. Um, and, uh, you know, not to toot my own horn, but I'm, I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> uh, you know, and uh, I've trained a lot of people to do this uh, for me on my team, so usually I don't do it. But, uh, you know, sometimes I like to do it just to get back in there, ye oldie kind of tactical 2001 kind of SEO thing to do. And so I like to keep my uh, talons sharp or my whatever you, whatever, whatever you want to call it. My title, my title talents sharp or whatever. So, so this is how I would do it. So the, in the new Search Console also, if you don't know how to use the Search Console, I have a video on that on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash jvachins, J-B-A-C-H-Y-N-S. I would go check that out. So that you would go to, you go to Search Analytics and Search Console and uh, click all the impression CTR position, all that stuff, because you need all this information. Now, you don't go off the queries, because this is what the, any page is ranking for on the site. What you want to do is you want to go to Pages, you want to get a list of the pages that have the most clicks. And I would just work down from here because this is where you're going to get your most bang for your buck. And this is on average where this page is ranking for all the queries. So, you know, it, it doesn't tell you, you know, you can click on it. Uh, and then uh, this is a neat little trick. You can click on the page. And it doesn't give you the information. But if you go back to click on queries with that page specified, now it tells you what just this page ranks for. Ah, now we see all the stuff that just the index page is ranking for for this site. And look, it's ranking for quite a lot of nice queries. It's a you know, client of mine, we've been working on stuff. So they're ranking on a lot of uh, good queries and they have a lot of brand searches as well. Look at all the brand searches they have. This is the way it's supposed to be, right? You're supposed to be such a hot item in Google that you have all these kind of brand searches with good high click-through rate on them. So that's just another thing to, to point out. So anyway, so what I would do, uh, I've already done this page's title. So I'm gonna go back here to pages and I'm gonna go to the one that I'm on my list. I'm down here to number 11. I've written, I've written the rest of these pages here, uh, their titles. You can see uh, how I've written them, you know, up to, you know, uh, Barcelona football shirts and jerseys up to 20% off, you know, that kind of thing. Now I'm gonna, I'm on the Poland uh, page down here right now. So I'm gonna click this just to get the page up into Chrome so I can look at it. Okay, this is what it is. Okay, look. Okay, we have up to 40% off stuff. Okay, good. So I need to find, and they have a coupon code for up to 15% off. 
Okay, great. I need to find sales value propositions. I need to find SVPs. I need to find propositions or reasons why people would buy from here to incentivize, right? And so I've used those in my previous titles. You can get 40% off, 20% off. I put that right in the title after I made sure I had the right keywords in the title as well. And of course, you notice the titles are all very, very short because they need to show up on Google. But how do I know? Well, you need to use this other really awesome tool that I've, uh, I've used and I've mentioned a number of times in my videos. And that's the Google Search Preview uh, tool that uh, is on this site here, websiteadvantage.com.au slash Google Search Emulate. This guy here, uh, Tony uh, McCreef, wrote it. He's a good guy. I don't know anything else about this guy uh, or uh, if anything else he does is great. I'm sure it probably is because this tool is fantastic and every time I've talked with him, he's a really nice guy. So that's what I can say about Tony here. So I go to Search Console. I click that to get the page and then I click here to get just this page's rankings, this impressions and clicks. Okay. And now I need to go back to queries to see what just this Poland football shirt page is ranking for. See? And okay, good, it's ranking on page number one for a lot of queries, but it's not getting a lot of clicks. So I want to improve these clicks here, right? So then I take this URL and I plug it right into here. You see, okay, what is the current title tags looking like? So I acquire the text. Okay, so this is what the page currently looks like in Google if people were to search for it. And I can see problems right away. You know, no offense to whoever was doing the SEO before me on this site, but this is just not the best way to do it. First off, as I understand it, and I can confirm this in a second in a very simple, easy way that you guys are going to love, but as I understand it, people in the UK don't really call them football jerseys. I believe they call them shirts. In fact, they, they say football kit, I believe is what they call it, but I could be wrong, but it doesn't matter because I'm about to check that uh, according to Google, right? I don't, I don't need to do any extra guessing, right? Google gives me all the information I need in just one easy stop place. I'll show you in a second. The other thing is they're, they're reinforcing the brand here. This is not the place where I'd reinforce the brand. I don't think it's a good idea. We have limited space here anyway to get people to click. They can get the brand from right here, from they see, oh, okay, it's on this thing called soccer box. Okay. And we can reinforce the brand here as well. So I'm going to make changes to this because this is not good enough. Plus, also, take a look at this. Um, get your polo football jerseys while, supply, while supplies last. Okay, so there's an incentive there. It's the standard sales incentive of, of limited time, better click now, right? Uh, every, you know, that's a, that's a sales incentive that a lot of people know, a lot of people use, and I might even use it myself, but I could use it in much less words, right? Also, 17 years in business with thousands of happy customers. Okay, okay, that's a sales incentive, that's a sales value proposition, that's something to brag about, but I don't think it's the best thing to brag about, and I don't think it's the best sales value proposition we can use here in such important and, and, and short <laughs> real estate, right? We only have so much real estate to convince, and there's a bunch of other reviews here, a bunch of, a bunch of other um, results here. We only, we only have so much room to, to convince this person to click. So I'm gonna go back here, I'm gonna go, okay, so first off, let's look at the title. What do we want to, to optimize for here? Well, um, looks like, I don't know what this is, Lou, Lou Lewandowski, Poland jersey, I guess that must be a particular player. Yeah, Robert Lewandowski, he must be a particular player. See, I can tell everything just by looking at what it's ranking for. Okay, so it's interesting I'm doing this one for you first because this is actually a tricky one because now people want a specific person and so and that's what it's ranking for now. So what am I going to do for the title? Am I going to boost it for the title? It's already ranking fifth and sixth spot on average. It already has a pretty good click-through rate for that. Hmm. Otherwise, it's ranking for Jersey, 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 Jersey. Okay, well, I could be wrong in this case. So let's just do a search, Jersey. Okay, so there's 28, one out of 28 for Jersey, shirts, or shirt, only 15. Okay, well what about kit? Kit, only two of six. Well, this is interesting. See, this is fascinating. On all these other pages I looked at here, um, a lot of them didn't have jerseys, right? They weren't looking for jerseys, people weren't searching for jerseys. A few of them did, but most of them had kits. Kits and shirts were the biggest ones. And sometimes I found a, a separate one, like track suits or something like that, so I, I threw it in there if I had room. So it's, it, you, you, this just goes to show you, you can't just make guesses in, as, as an SEO. You have to go in and check to see what it's already ranking here for. And I'm, I'm looking, I'm doing a low hanging fruit approach. I could, I could go and do the keyword research in Google AdWord preview and find out what people are searching for the most, but I don't want to do that because that'll mess up his rankings, right? What I want to do is I want to, he's already ranking here, I want to boost this click-through rate, I want to get more people to the site and also boost the rankings for these 
and boost the rankings for other queries as well. I don't want to turn off this traffic by not optimizing for jerseys because I had a preconceived notion, remember? So it's, it's fascinating, right? And I want to go, because the other ones were more shirts and so on, it looks like it's more jerseys in the top, right? So that's what I want to do is, and that's the most. Look, I mean, look at all this. People are looking for jerseys. In fact, they want for this particular guy. So let's look at the page here. Where is this Robert, is this guy, Robert guy mentioned here at all? No. Lou, no, he's not mentioned at, on this page at all. So I don't know why or how. So this is fascinating. This is a weird example. I, I, other than these other, all these ones were pretty straightforward. <laughs> I should have started with the video with these ones. But fine, you, get, you guys get the idea. Um, so now I, I'm like, what am I going to do? This doesn't show up on the page anymore. I don't know why Google... See, this is a perfect example of Google's knowledge graph and Google's semantic search. They know that this guy plays for Poland, and they know that he has a jersey, and they know that you can get Poland jerseys on this site, right? Poland home jersey, Poland home jersey. The, the, the word jersey here shows up five times. We get shirt 13 times, right? And they know jerseys and shirts are the same thing. And kit shows up only... Kits, kit, only throw it up four times, right? On this shirt. So we have off page reasons for the most part why they're looking for jerseys. People are looking for jerseys for these for this guy. And so, you know, it's ranking for that in spite of whatever is on the on page. And so my on page ch changes are not going to ruin the rankings for this, right? It's ranking for this because Google has put two and two together, and there might be a lot of links, but I guarantee you there's no links made that have anything to do with Robert Lewandowski. Um, uh, Lewandowski. Forgive me, Robert, if I'm... <laughs> forgive me, uh, a football uh, star, if I'm mispronouncing your name. I'm assuming he's a football star. Hey, hey, my last name is Bashinsky. I fully understand, brother. I'm Polish, too. So uh, forgive me if I'm mispronouncing your name. But... Uh, so I'm not going to ruin... This is all off-site reasons, anyway. Or just... I think this is just rank brain. I think Rank Bring has figured out that Robert Lewandowski plays for Poland. He's a soccer player. Soccer players have this thing called jerseys. You can buy this thing called football jerseys for Poland, the, the, the Poland team, on this page. In fact, it's a very authoritative and good and has a very high quality rank because you can get good prices and you can buy stuff on this page. Something with a pretty high discount here, uh, or at least a 50% discount, right? So, and a really high trust pilot score, you know, all the other off-site schema stuff, all the stuff that says this page should be ranking pretty well and should be a good bet for the user for this thing that they want to do. So this is fascinating. I think that's the reason why this is here. But anyway, at the end of the day, ultimately, I don't need to go throw this in the title. If I did, I would probably boost this ranking. I, I would boost this click-through rate. But I don't necessarily want to do that in this case because it's not all about this guy. And Google has already figured it out. So I don't need to help Google along with it. I don't think I do. If I wanted to, I could maybe mention his name here in the meta description. Uh, you know, I could say, hey, you can get your get uh, official Nike Poland football shirt here, just like Robert Lewandowski, you know, or something like that. And that might boost, it, uh, boost everything a little bit. But I don't think this real estate is too important. I don't think I should put it in the title. But let's see how much room that I have. Okay, so ignoring this little uh, interesting diversion, which made a more interesting video, but uh, but uh, uh, philosophically, but but <laughs> made it a little hard for me thinking, right? It's not just a simple uh, change of the title tags. Otherwise, as I said here, Jersey is the biggest thing that uh, this thing is ranking for, so I would ruin it if I removed it from the title. It's ranking more than shirts, and it's more important for the searchers and for as, as rank rankings turn as than kit. So then what I need to do is like, okay, so Poland soccer jersey, Poland jersey, Poland football jersey. What about soccer? Soccer has got 14 instances, not including the titles of 13, and uh, football has 11. Again, this is fascinating. Again, in the UK, they call it football. They don't call it soccer. Um, this must be Americans, quite frankly. This must be people in North America, for the most part, looking for this, I think, because... They're looking for jerseys and they're calling it soccer more. Um, this is interesting. You know, I could I could check if I I can check by countries. Yeah, look at that. So here's my guess is correct. Look, it's people in the United States looking here and Canada uh, almost as much as the United Kingdom. 
So this is a fascinating thing that people are, are in the States are looking for jerseys, right, for this particular page. And Rank Brain has decided, hey, you know, um, this page is good for this particular guy. So this is a fascinating example. This is completely by accident. I didn't mean this. I just started filming because I, I did the rest of these titles. And it all was typically shirts and kits because people mostly from the UK are going to the site because it's mostly a UK site. And football is so far mostly a, a UK phenomenon. It is not as popular in, in the States and North America as obviously it is, is in Europe and the rest of the world, in Asia and Middle East, or in, uh, in uh, the Orient, in the Middle East anyway. I don't know if people in, in the Far East Think they do anyway. So or maybe in the south, not in South Asia. I don't think China cares much about it. Anyway, I could be wrong. Anyway, another reason why not to speculate. You got to go by the data. So again, this is fascinating. People in the U.S. are going to this page. So I don't want to ruin the rankings for it because they could very well be making purchases. Because as far as I know, this site does sell to the states. They'll sell anywhere. Yeah, they'll choose any particular currency and they'll sell to these different places. So I don't want to ruin it for them, obviously. And that's as an SEO, my first rule is kind of the Hippocratic oath. Do no harm, right? I gotta follow the, the oath of doctors, really. I wanna do no harm in trying to boost their rankings. I don't wanna boost things so badly that I make it worse. So I go back to queries here and I go, okay, well, this one's weirder than the other ones. Good thing I checked. So jerseys, good thing I didn't just copy and paste the titles from my other pages, right? So jersey is the most important here and soccer seems to be more important here. So uh, I gotta go back to here and go, okay, well, Poland football jerseys is really the first one I should be doing here. Um, in fact, I could be doing Poland soccer jerseys. Although the biggest one here was soccer jersey. Yeah, soccer jersey, you get more, more bang for your buck there. So Poland soccer jerseys. Shirts and kits, so I'm going to get them all, right? Google knows that football is soccer, so I can't really say... Uh, uh, I could go football, football shirts and kits, but I want to have room for the incentive, right? The, the keywords are... Jamming all the keywords in there are much less important than getting the incentive in there as well. Up to... Shirts, socks, and kits, up to 15% off. Now, I don't have enough room. You see, now it kit cuts it off. This is why this tool is fantastic, because it goes on the pixels, on the pixels of what is available there, and not, uh, not, uh, and, and, and I don't believe, uh, I think this is still correct. It might actually be a little shorter, and it could be a little bit shorter on mobile as well. So you don't even want to go all the way up to the, the final pixel width that he has here. So that's not going to work here, right? Eh? So I want to go maybe, uh, and I want to check back here. How much are people going for socks? Sock, zero. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. People are not looking for socks here, so I can remove that. Okay, good. So I didn't have room. So this is much better. Poland soccer jerseys, shirts, and kits up to 15% off. Great. So uh, you can get the official because official stuff is important to these guys. Nike, oh, make sure I put the trademark in there, right? Because it makes it look more impressive. I have to have it memorized, of course, as any web nerd back from the 1997s, uh, such as myself would. Uh, so here's the uh, the entity code there for, or the HTML code for trademark. You can get the official Nike uh, uh, Poland football jersey Uh, or even better, just a call to action. Get the official Nike Poland football jersey. Uh, jerseys, shirts, kits, and socks. I don't know who's looking for socks. They have the socks. Uh, maybe and more. Ah, and socks, whatever. Okay. Kits and socks. Okay, what else are they looking for here? Might boost it slightly here. Um, they're, okay, they're looking for 2015 here. They're looking for date signals. Okay, good. So look at all the date signals we have here. So I gotta check that as well, right? Okay, so of course they want the 2014 official jersey. They want the 2015, 2016. So I gotta go back here and say, um, oh, also I want to check: um, Are they looking for junior? 
No, they're looking for an adult. No, they're looking for kids. No, they don't care about that here. Fine. Good. So then I say, you know, all seasons, 2013, 14, 15, 16. Great. Limited time. Limited quantities. So I got in, add in the incentive and then shop about visit today. Uh, it fits. And I want this stuff here to float on the bottom right because left to right readers are going to scan this way. They're going to go football 50% off. Boom, they're going to go right down from here to here, right? So if this was even further to the right, this would make a, a good thing. You check to make sure there's no misspellings. You notice I put that in caps so it's more visible. That's perfectly fine. And you notice I used asterisks to make it set it apart. That's perfectly fine too, right? So I can say here, uh, get 15% off. I can, I can spell it properly. <laughs> that would be a good idea. You can, uh, yeah, so I got even more room. So get up to 15% off. Oh, but look at this. Okay, so now, unfortunately, this awesome tool tells me, okay, I've got too many characters. Okay. Limited quantity. Oh, oh, oops, I just messed it up. That saves it. Ha, 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 ha. That's another reason why I love it. Because <laughs> Google Chrome now saves it for me. Limited quantity. No, no, not enough. Got space here. Uh, okay, I need up to 15% off. Now I gotta get some of some of these asterisks here. If I can just massage it a little bit, get the official, get official Nike Poland. Capitalize that anymore because it looks weird. Get official Nike Poland football jersey, shirts, kits, and socks, all seasons 2014, 15, 15, 16, up to 50% off limited quantity visited them. There we go. So this has all the sales value prop propositions that they actually cared about. Remember? The other sales value propositions were great, but they didn't care about that. Here they want to know specifically, and it's part of search queries as well. So in the meta description, that might actually help it give it a little boost, or at least it's gonna boost boost the click-through rate a little bit. And I don't mention this, this uh, Lewandowski guy here anywhere. Uh, good old Rob, Rob Lewandowski, Lewandowski. Me and him, <laughs> I'm pronouncing his name every time now. Uh, hey, my name is Pashinsky, I get it. Um, you know, I don't mention him here anywhere because there is no on-page semantic for that anywhere here. And if I put it there, I could boost it for those queries, right? I could get his ranking a little bit higher if I put it in the title. And that's what the US people here seem to be looking for. Remember, I could tell by the data, I could make an educated guess, and I was right that most people here are coming from the States in this particular page. But, um, you know, that's only for these particular people. Uh, they, they know he, he, he plays for Poland, and so they're gonna go click on it anyway. As you can see here, they're massively clicking on it here. Oh. And so that is how I would do that. And say I can check the C to make sure that it all fits. I'm, I'm even much less than, you know, it's going to cut off maybe here for mobile, so I don't want to go all the way there with it. Poland soccer jerseys, shirts, and kits. Again, that's what they searched for the most. I could say football, you know, in there. Uh, I do say football in, of course, here, and it says football on the page. So because it says football on the page, it says football here, Google knows that I'm not going to decrease the ranking for it at all. And this is going to increase the ranking for the soccer jerseys and the kits. And they were searching for shirts. They were searching mostly for the jerseys, even more, see? And they were a little bit searching for the kits. And so, you know, again, if I'm just tailoring this for the U.S., I could even remove kits because the U.S. doesn't even know what that means. Uh, Poland soccer jerseys, shirts, and kits. But I've got to include you know, the, the, the full kits, the socks and everything. I think that's what that means. Forgive me. Canada, you know, if you say the full kit, that means like everything, the whole kit and caboodle. I guess that's where we get it from. But. So anyway, so and then I see you, you put that in caps, you have that in, in asterisks there. So that has that up there. So then what you can do is you just add that, right? So I'll go to here and I'll just easily copy and paste. Guys, get it. You're supplying it to clients. Either you upload it yourself or you just take it right from here in the tool. Paste that right in here. I 
go here, and I got the HTML key right there already. It's already the right size. It's already in the right uh, uh, ASCII code and everything, and HTML code. So I can put that right there, save that. Okay, let's do another one and see if, it, if things end up being differently, right? So I close this, I go back here, I go here to reset the top pages, and back to the queries, I go back to the pages. I just did Poland, and now I'm gonna go do, okay, look at this one. So they have a, a specific one, Barcelona. This is still got really high impressions, a very low click-through rate for a, a good average position. So I definitely wanna boost this, right? If I can get them an extra 100 people a month, that's an extra 100 potential sales, especially when I'm incentivizing them so well, they're gonna be so hungry for a sale after the, ooh, 40% off, ooh, I can get this, I can get that. And look, there's even blog ones in here too, like how to train a Premier League footballer guide, right? I changed that. Uh, they, and wow, how technology has improved football clothing. And then I put sport clothing on the end. You notice how I tacked it on because if people were searching both for football clothing and sport clothing. And what Google will do is they'll, repl they'll replace football clothing with sport clothing and they'll get rid of the wow probably if they're searching for sport clothing. But if they're searching for football clothing, it'll give them this full title, right? Check to see how I finessed this one. And this is for a blog, right? This is for their blog. Um, uh, oops, oh no, never mind, sorry. So uh, that's not gonna work because that's their old title. <laughs> see, this is the old title. And the new title is gonna be uh, uh, this. And the new meta description is going to be this, right? So that's going to how it's going to look now. See, wow, how technology has improved football clothing. So building some excitement, right? You've got to build excitement. The future is here with caps. Read the fascinating ways in which top companies like Nike, Adidas, and more have changed the technology of sport and football clothing. Put sport here, and sport clothing is at the end. So if they search for football clothing, which is what they were, uh, how has technology improved football clothing, new football clothing, you know, that's what they were searching for, for the most part, so that's what I put there. But if they're also, they also search for sport clothing, and so because I tacked on the end here, football clothing are not gonna see it, and they're gonna screw up the, the purity of the click-through on what they want, right? Users are, are pretty much dumb, and, and, and actually they're not dumb, they're just in a, in a hurry. We're in a hurry, right? And so they wanna see, I want technology on football clothing, I see technology football clothing, I click this, right? If they, they search for technology football, you know, then they're going to get that here. Technology, football, clothing, they're going to see that, right? But um, if I search for sport clothing, it's going to replace football clothing with sport clothing. And it's going to say, how, has, how technology has improved dot, 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 sport clothing. And they're going to click that as well. So that was a tricky little way that I thought uh, worked really well. So that's going to work really well. So keep that in mind. So now, anyway, back to this. So we're going to go do this special one here for the Barcelona Kids, Boys, Youth Home Kit. So let's click on this to get the page. So we can take a quick look at it just so we know what we're optimizing for. Okay, so this is a specific product page. Before I was doing category pages, now I'm doing a specific product page. So we're lower in the sales funnel. These are people who already want this kind of thing. And they're already ranking well for it and people are clicking on it. So let's click here to get just that page and then do our little trick of going back to see the queries. Let's check the countries just really quickly to make sure. Yeah, United Kingdom. I was pretty sure the rest of the site has been that way. The last page was an anomaly for sure bunch of Americans looking for this Robert Lewandowski jersey guy. He must be pretty popular. Um, if the U.S. is in Europe. Okay, so here, look at this here. Okay, so obviously they're looking just for a specific, here it doesn't, looking just for a specific time here. Kit, junior kit, age six to seven, kit seven to eight, age six to seven, kids, okay, they know all that. Okay, so this is going to be an interesting one as well. We definitely want to boost this click-through rate because the click-through rate on some of them are not very good. This one is very good. So this is another feedback telling Google, hey, this is where you can get this. Now, okay, so let's do the searches here. Let's take this here and check what the title currently is. And see how good the title currently is here. Okay, Barcelona Kids Boys Youth Home Kit 2015 to 2016. Okay, well in this case, the title is actually not that bad, right? It's telling you exactly what you're gonna find there. And that tells us why we have such a good click-through rate, right? That's exactly what they want. They looked for Child's Barcelona kit. It says, here's a kids, boys, youth, home kit, 2015-16. So they click on it. That's what they get. And it also has a call to action, order today. Hey, someone who had half an idea of what they were doing wrote this before, right? In my opinion. Again, uh, no offense to the person who did it previously. You did a good job in this case, so I'm, I'm complimenting you. 
So, um, so you know, I'm not really sure in ways I can make this too much better, but I'm sure that I can probably try. Also, I noticed that uh, pages that have a date signal in them uh, also tend to do much better. Um, if you can, if you have room for a date signal, a date signal seems to give a boost. I think it just gives a boost for the freshness algorithm, and I also think it gives a boost uh, because people want something that's new, so it improves the click-through rate. In this particular case, they're looking for this year's uh, 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 football kit. They're looking for the 2015-2016 season, right? So it, it kind of has to be there. So how would I make any changes to this one? Well, I would go through. I would say, okay, so here we are going kids, kit, not jerseys, not shorts, uh, shirts, uh, or shorts for that matter. So I would say, here, okay, what are they looking for the most? Okay, looking for kit, yeah, 34, look at all of them, great. They're looking for Barcelona, obviously, yeah, 39, okay, obviously. They're looking for kid, kids, they're looking for child. Oh, look at that, only three. So only three in this case. I've got child there. Most people, way far more people, are looking for kid and kids. Okay, what about age? Uh, less people are specifying the age as well. Most people are typing in kid and kids. Okay, so that means that this is not Barcelona kids. It's good. Okay, it doesn't say child there. Um, and what does the page say? Kids, boys, youth, home. Yeah, kids, boys, youth. Yeah, good. Got it. Home kit. Uh, what else do we have here? Okay, so as I said, this one's not too bad going through as an SEO. Again, this might be another bad example. Uh, I should have made this video earlier on the easier examples. <laughs> but um, we can, you know, it's still, it's under the 512 pixels. We can still spruce this up a little bit here uh, in uh they're looking for the kids a uh, home kit 2015 2016 uh, ages 6 to 7 7 to 8 kids child so even though this one this one already has a very high click through rate so we don't have to add the word childs there anyway right they're already clicking on it so you know what i'm going to do here is i'm going to ages 3 to 8 yeah they already got that in there official nike well it should have uh, a trademark here at the very least Uh, and I get the official Barcelona Kids Youth Home Kit 2015-16. That takes too much space up. Uh, we don't want to promote the brand here. <clears throat> We're going to put four ages, three to eight. Official Nike football kit. So yeah, we want to get this Nike, and we want to do uh, limited quantities uh, order shop now. Hmm. Now so. So this is better, right? It's official, limited quantity shop now. It's a little convoluted with all this text and slashes and brackets in there. It doesn't read as easily. The only problem here is that there's no big incentive. It's like, this is exactly what you want. You know, it's like, okay, it's what you want. 4% click through, this one clicks the most. You know, my gut's telling me that as long as it's vaguely what they want, they're going to click through. The only problem is that this is ranking for so many, like 9 to 9, 2015, 2015, 2015. If I removed it from the title, it's going to get less clicks from that. So it's kind of a crapshoot, right? I could put here uh, Barcelona Kids. Uh, okay, let's do this. Boys, 1 to 5. Youth, uh, once in the title here, tw only twice. Boy, uh, five times. Youth, 
only three times here. So, see, that tells me that I don't need to have the word youth in here. I already have it in here. I don't need it in there. And Google knows what it means when I do that, 2015-16 HomeKit. Now, if I can say 15% uh, off, if I have room to do something like this, this might help. Barcelona Kids Boys Home Kit. Remember, they're not searching youth too much, and it's already in the title, it's already in the name, and it's already in the meta description. They are searching boys, and they are searching kids quite a bit. Remember, they're searching boys here a little bit, five times, but they're searching kids way more. Right? So keep the kids in there. But my guess is that I'm not going to reduce the, the clicks for youth too much. They're not searching for that. They're, they're searching for Barcelona Kids Home Kit. Google might even substitute this out enough already with Frank Brain, but I don't. But specificity still has like a little bit of a percentage of a of, of a of a of a benefit. Uh, you know, I don't want to go too much further. I could try up to fifteen percent off. Up to fifteen percent off. You know, it's still. There, you know, I could do something like that. Again, it's getting pretty technical with all the numbers, hard to read. Hmm, this one really is kind of a crapshoot. So, you know, you got to make a judgment call. In things like this, I don't have to have this absolutely correct because the truth is the SEO is going to make their best guess. But at the end of the day, it's the statistics here, the improvements that I make here, or, or the decreases, unfortunately, sometimes. But the improvements, for the most part, that are gonna tell you that you, you did the right thing, right? And you gotta do this thing called split testing. You gotta test it and see. You gotta try a title out that you think might be a little bit more enticing. And then you gotta check the statistics to see. So this is what I'm gonna try for this particular page. Youth is not as important as kids. Uh, I mean, kids are way more important. Boys are important. I searched four or five times. Um, uh, it's still here. Boys are still here and here and here. Youth is still here and here. So I think people are still gonna click on it. Get the official Barcelona Kids Boys Youth Home Kit 2015-2016 for ages 3 to 8. That includes all the people who are searching for ages, right? Uh, I could also put ages 3 to 8 up here. But that doesn't give me any more room. Official Nike Football Kit. Uh, okay, good. Limited quantities. Shop now. This is a bit repetitive, uh, but I didn't say football uh, kit anywhere else here. Are people looking, again, I did this already, but people for shirts, three times. People looking for jerseys here, five times. Okay, so then that tells me I need to go uh, Nike. Uh, uh, I already have uh, people searching for soccer here. Soccer, not at all. So I can go football, jerseys, and shirts. Now it's too much. Limited quantities still might be a good incentive because it's buying something for your kid. They use that on Christmas all the time. There's only 200 Furbies. Come get the Furby that your child tells you it wants. So get the official Barcelona Kids uh, Boys Youth Home Kit. In fact, I'll even take that out of there. There we go. Jerseys and shirts, I think, are more important than the youth there because youth is already in the, uh, you know, that's kids, boys, youth. Google knows that's the thing. Jersey shirts is not necessarily mentioned in, anywhere. So, so this, again, it's a tough one, but, but uh, you know, it's uh, probably better to show you the examples of the tough ones than the easy ones. And you can see here how I did the easy ones. And you can see here how I came to the decision of how to do the easy ones because I did the searches here on Google and I checked to see what was most important, what people were searching the most, and what they weren't searching at all, so it doesn't need to be there. Um, and what Google's not ranking it for now, and so it doesn't need to be there. The Google has kind of decided what this page is going to rank for. It's going to rank for weird Xmas gifts, or it's going to rank for strange Christmas presents. And so, you know, I don't need to try and make it rank for everything. It doesn't work that way anymore. It's better to take the low-hanging fruit and boost the rankings 
for the rankings that we got in this particular case. Because we're already, you know, along in the game. When you're starting out is when you do your keyword research and you try and make Google rank you for the most the best one, the most important one to start off with. So that's a big misconception that people don't understand. So this is how I will do this one. I'm gonna do a Barcelona Kids Boys Home Kit 2015-16, up to 15% off. The up to 15% off, I think is gonna make people click on it or make people go there. Um, you know, get the official Barcelona Kids Home Kit uh, for ages three to eight, that includes that. Official Nike jerseys and shirts, that includes that. Limited quantity shop now. Um, I think that puts the incentive there. So this is what I'll do for this particular one. And again, it's very easy when using this tool. You just go, you just copy and paste it right in. Looks you're done. Copy and paste this right in here. And put that back in there. So that is my video for how to write title tags, uh, just short tutorial how to write title tags and how to use this, this, uh, this awesome tool for writing your title tags. Again, it's very easy. You could use Search Console here. You check the pages, you go back to queries, you can even check the countries there. The data doesn't lie, right? The data tells you what's going on and you can very uh, judiciously make decisions like, you know, oh, people are not searching soccer, you know, in this particular case, they're searching football in this particular case some soccer out of the title and I can put football in instead, right? But that wasn't the case for all the pages and it was interesting to see that we had some US searchers in one particular case. So again, uh, I hope this really helps you out guys. Uh, I better get to work because I got a lot of titles that I'm supposed to be doing here. So uh, until next time, I'm gonna sign off. But again, this is a very uh, handy tool on how to do your titles and uh, just use Google Search Console and this tool and uh, to make sure it fits and uh, just put them in a file or upload them to WordPress or however so if you guys have any questions at all, or if you want me to do this for your site, uh, or you want me to show you how to do it for your particular site, or you want me to do an SEO audit, or show you any other kind of stuff, uh, what your uh, competitors are doing to outrank you, uh, and more, I'd be more than happy to help you out with, with any SEO questions you might have. If you have quick questions too, by all means, email me at joshpachinski at gmail.com. You can follow me at joshpachinski on Twitter, and you can watch more awesome uh, SEO tips, tutorials, and crazy Google leaks like this, SEO courses at youtube.com slash jbachins, J-B-A-C-H-Y-N-S. So good luck. I better get back to writing these title tags. Good luck in the SERPs, and we'll see you next time.